We are just over 24 hours into Season 2 Reloaded for Modern Warfare Zombies. And not only did we already open the new Easter Egg Dark Aether Rift for the Sigils and Elder Sigils, but I just figured out a method to keep your tombstone while going into the Dark Aether. And there's a bunch of benefits that come with that. Check this out. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. If you don't have the time to unlock everything and need assistance in your favorite games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto V, and more, then our sponsor, Damn Mods, is the place for you. They offer all camo unlocks, zombie schematics, bot lobbies, and more. Damn Mods has a five-star rating with thousands of reviews. Use the link below in the description and be sure to use code 1AD for 5% off your order. Now, you're only going to need a couple things. That is a sigil or elder sigil, a scorcher, and the ability to pack a punch it, so I recommend bringing in a crystal, and then I also recommend bringing a tombstone. All the other items are up to you. That's just what you want to duplicate and keep in your tombstone, but it doesn't matter. You can bring an insured weapon. That doesn't affect it. Also, decoy grenades, knives, etc. All those work great as well. Once you have that sigil or elder sigil, scorcher, pack a punch crystal, Head on into the match. When tombstoning, the first thing you always need to do is break down any existing tombstone you have if you want to set another one, because it will cause problems if you leave one up and then try to reset a second one. So make sure to drain all the items from there. Also, if you just go in one round and duplicate normally, you can use my video up here to do that. Then you can never lose your items. Always keep the same ones. Now, I always recommend keeping one sigil in the tombstone and on your person. So that once you've duplicated them, you can bring in a second sigil from the next time along with a tombstone, scorcher, floss ethereum crystal. So that way you can just always rotate and never run out of sigils, never run out of scorchers, and never run out of ethereum crystals. Now as long as you have a thousand essence to activate the portal, you'll be good. But I recommend just running a couple contracts if you have more, especially if you already have a scorcher. If you already have a scorcher with any level of pack-a-punch, running bounty contracts in tier 1 or tier 2 is extremely fast and extremely easy if you need a little more essence. Then make sure to either drink a tombstone that you brought in or go buy a tombstone from the soda machine. You're then going to go to F5 at this location in tier 3 where there's going to be a portal. And you're going to use the same password we've used in the past, and that is regular U, up arrow, and then N backwards Q. And you normally activate the portal. But don't activate that portal yet because you want to practice this next technique a couple times before you actually activate the portal and spend essence. So let's get into that. Head up to the giant tornado on the top of tier 3. If you haven't unlocked this portal with the four new gold Easter egg items, watch this video here or down in the description first so that you can unlock this portal for yourself. I did it solo and it's a very detailed, simple guide so that you can unlock it as well. You're going to go to where you can activate the Elder Sigil and start charging your Scorcher. Then right before you launch, activate the Scorcher and hold that button down so you're actually activating the air. Charge up one more time, parachute quick cut, and you're going to do your 70% charge on your screen here to the Superman. Wait a little bit. You're only going to do about a 50 on the screen here, a little shorter. And if you do it right, you're going to glide right into the area where the portal is. That's what you're looking for. Now, practice that a few times without activating the portal or voting yes until you're comfortable with it. Now, let's do it for real. Now, head back to activate the portal. Make sure to clear out any zombies before they get you as tier 3 has been buffed quite significantly. Then you're going to do U, up arrow, N backwards Q. Activate it and take off. Now what I like to do is just a quick two charge and then you pull your chute to go into the Superman kind of mode. It's actually faster to do two and then do the 70% if you're trying to move forward than it is to do three going all the way into Superman. So I do the two charge now. So two boosts should get you there. And pull your chute. This is the new Dark Aether. And we're going to start charging, then right before you actually boost, hold F or the key to activate the Elder Sigil. Get the second boost in. Pull your chute quick. Cut it quick. Get your first 70 charge to move forward. Wait a little bit. Now do a slightly less charge to about 50. And you should coast right in. If you look at the time there where the vote is, you want to get it right about 9 or 10 seconds into the portal. Then turn to your right. I switch to my Juggernaut to, to sprint a little faster. And I typically vote closer to one second here. But you're trying to get in right about six. <gasps> oh, oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. 
Die, die. Yes, yes, load screen. Ooh. Now you've made it into the dark ether and your tombstone is already set. So what that means is you can use any item in your inventory right now and it won't affect your tombstone. Notice though that you do lose your perks, but you still have all your weapons, everything else that comes with that. So I'm actually just gonna go straight out to the exfil here, but in reality, you could run all the contracts here. You could get the schematics, do anything you want because whatever you successfully expo with won't affect the tombstone that was already set when you went out of bounds and died. So this is a great way to collect the new schematics without having to lose that tombstone and the essence and all the items that you have in that. So just go and hit the exfil like this. And boom, rift complete. Now, sometimes you're gonna get a screen like this. I used to get it the last season as well. Notice the music still sounds correct. So don't worry about it. Everything still is successful. Even if you got schematics, they will still unlock here. But remember, this only proved that I can get into the Dark Aether while dying. We haven't actually confirmed that our tombstone is still there or what's inside of our tombstone. So let's go back in one more time to show you for sure that those same items that I left the map with are still in my tombstone. Therefore, this is a valid method. So for this round, we took out every item that we were in the Dark Sigil with. So we didn't use any of those. So they actually come out into our rucksack still but we need to confirm the tombstone. You can see our insured weapon's still there, our tacticals, our lethals, etc. We just put those back because we had used those. So make sure to bring another sigil in, a scorcher, another ethereum crystal, and a tombstone to be able to just repeat this process over and over again. You can run the dark ether as many times as you want. Let's get back in there. There we go, get the heck out of here. You got shot out by a sky by a merc once when you were scorching. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Freaking mercs. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it reset a tombstone when I went in. That's awesome, though, because all I lost, I had two sigils. Now I have one sigil. That's fantastic. As you can see, you can now keep your original tombstone while going in the new Dark Aether and even successfully exfil to get items, schematics, etc. from the new Elder Sigil using this method. The, the only real issues with this method is it's a little bit difficult to learn, and it does take a little bit of time. But this is a good way of having infinite legendary items to run that Dark Aether as many times as you want or need to get the new items, to unlock the new schematics, etc. Again, check for the description down below if you need a guide on how to beat the entire Elder Sigil and all three contracts solo to get the new schematics. It works incredibly well. I did it without any perks. So if you had perks, it'd just be that much easier. I did it solo. So if you had a team, it would be that much easier. But check that video out so that you can unlock the schematics for yourself. Like and subscribe if this video helped you. And as always, for the newest Modern Warfare Zombies and Warzone content, I will see you live on YouTube.